today we're going to talk about how to make a line plot using the chart, uh, the data on the chart. First thing we have to look at is our fractions and see if we have all common denominators. And if we look, we have um, 2 and 2 eighths, 1 and 3 eighths, 2 and 3 eighths, 2 and 5 eighths, and then 4 and 1 fourth. And then we have a couple in fourths. So they are not common denominators, so we need to make them then. Right now, our fractions are written as mixed numbers, and in order to change them to equivalent fractions, they need to be changed into improper fractions. So we're going to write down the first one, 4 and 1 fourth, on our paper, and change it from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction. So we're going to say 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9, so we have 9 fourths. Now that it's an improper fraction, we can change it to an equivalent fraction and change it into 8s and write our equivalent fraction sentence. Fill in what we know, and then fill in the blanks. 4 times something equals 8, and we know that is 2. And what you do on the bottom, you have to do on the top. So 9 times 2 is 18. Now we kind of have to go backwards now and change this improper fraction back into a mixed number. 8 goes into 18 2 times. 8 times 2 is 16. And then there's 2 leftovers. So our mixed number is 2 and 2 eighths. And then we're going to do that for every fraction that's not an eighth. So we're going to do that with four and one fourths, and three and one fourths, and one and three fourths. Once you have those switched over, at the bottom of the paper, we're going to make a straight line and label it with our whole numbers. And when I look at my chart, I see that we have a one, we have twos, and threes. So I need my number line to start with one, have a two, a three, and a four. So now that I have them, I'm going to break this up into eighths. So I'm going to draw seven lines in between and then fill in the numbers as I go. For, so for each number, I'm going to put an X over that fraction. So for example, two and two eighths, I've gone to my whole number two and now I'm going to count over two small lines. One, two, and I'm going to put an X above it. The next one is um, one and three eighths. So I'm gonna start at my whole number one and count over three. One, two, three, and put an X above that. I'm going to do that for January through December and then use this information to solve the problems on the back. 